Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. Hey. 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 Hey, hey now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey. You ever wonder? I sound like Andy Rooney. Did you ever wonder? Did you ever notice? Did you ever notice? What if there was a list of life hacks uh -huh. that you could use for the remainder of the year to ensure that you would have a great rest of your 2019? Ooh, I'd be all over it. Well, guess what? Coming up, we've got that list of life hacks for you next on Men Are So Smart. Hello again, everybody. Lou Gallagher. Corvette Ronnie. Nice to be with you on this beautiful day. Thanks for watching. Uh, have you ever made a list of life hacks that might help you to have a better year? Well, hmm. we have a list of those things for you today, starting off with number 10, which is set goals. Gotta go goals. If you don't know where you want to go, how are you going to get there or know when you've arrived? You have to define what success looks like so you know when you've achieved it. Of course, the beginning of a year is when everyone likes to make goals, but you can set a new goal or set of goals any day of the year. Today's a great day. Yep. If you set a goal to exercise more, then, you know, stick to it. If you decide, say in September, you want to exercise more, the crowds are smaller than in the beginning of the years, so don't think you have to wait till the end of the year to make these goals. Next up, write out a plan. If you don't put it in writing, it doesn't really exist anywhere. Yep. Uh, so if you are now, uh, if where you are now is your origin, and the goals you set are the destination, then the plan is the route you used which to get there. Okay, gotcha. Uh, how will you get from point A to point B? If your goal is to go from 200 pounds to 175, how will you do it? You have to lay out specific steps. Uh, if you want to get a new job or start a business, write out exactly what you need to do. Next up on our list of life hacks. Yes. <laughs> take risks. Ooh, I like it. Mm, this is interesting. <laughs> Risk is defined as exposure to the chance of injury or loss, a hazard or dangerous chance. So let's focus on exposure to the chance of loss. This terrifies most people, but it's an essential part of life. If you have a job that has a company retirement plan, you probably participate. And there's probably a component that is put in the stock market. There will be a day when the market is terrible and your total amount in the plan will decrease. Does that mean you should not participate? I've always been told, it's a marathon. Of course not. Over time, these plans usually grow in spite of days when things go wrong. Life is like that. You'll take some risks that don't work out, but that doesn't mean you should never take a stop or you should never take a risk. Hello. <laughs> uh, the next one is stop doubting yourself. Oh, I'm listening, Ronnie. I'm you know, listening. we talked a little bit about this in a previous show. If you don't think you can do it, you, you won't. Chances are you're not going to. Yeah, yep. Self-doubt is the biggest factor that keeps most people from taking chances or risks at all. Uh, it's time to stop being ruled by self-doubt. Don't focus on what you can't do. Instead, focus on what you can do. That's good advice. Uh, there's no such thing as a person that is not good at anything. Zero in on what you do well and use that to move forward. You can certainly allow allow room to identify your weaknesses and work to improve in those areas, but that must not dominate your life. Use your strengths to your advantage. Yeah, you know, I always say the secret to life is find out what it is that you really love and are passionate about, and then find a way for yourself to make money doing just that. Yep. You'll, it'll seem like you never work a day in your life. Practice self-love comes up next. I've heard you do that quite a bit. Well, that's why I had the glasses. <laughs> I, I, was hoping I, I was hoping I wasn't going to get that one. I was one. hoping you were. <laughs> so I was just going to say, is it true? Are we actually, we, do we spend so much time together, Ronnie, that we're actually starting to finish each other's... Water? Verb. Oh. <laughs> do you know what's so amazing about you, Ronnie? I do. I don't. <laughs> Nobody can be better, can be a better you than you. And that's pretty awesome. Own that. 
Show love to yourself by taking care of your body, giving yourself rewards whenever you reach a goal, and give yourself a big reward when you reach a major goal. When you love yourself, you then can love others, and others can love you. Now, this is one that I have a little difficulty with. You have to leave the past alone. I sometimes have problems getting past the past. I do as well, Ron. Yeah, one thing is certain about this train of life, it has no reverse gear. Right. When the sun comes up each morning, yesterday is gone, and we can never go back. You can remember what happened yesterday and use what happened to ensure you don't repeat mistakes, but you can't go back and redo yesterday. No. Uh, we have to leave the past in the past and not keep trying to live there. Life keeps moving forward, so we also have to move forward with it. Why do you think the windshield is so much bigger than the rearview mirror? Ooh. Write that down. Yes. Next up, laugh more. Watch this show more. <laughs> Laughing causes the release of endorphins. You know, I once went on a, um, an excursion where I got to swim with the endorphins. And it was quite, wow. yeah, it was quite an experience. Nice petting those endorphins, yeah. in the water. God, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, it was. Damn, uh, endorphins, which are chemicals known to bring stress levels lower and enhance a person's sense of well-being. There is evidence laughter helps develop immune cells, and of course, laughter makes you happy. Would you rather be happy than sad? Rhetorical question. <laughs> Make sure there is plenty of laughter in your life. We get it every every Sunday. Yes. We do it every yeah. Sunday. All right, next one. Read one book each month. Wow. I'm, I'm a couple books behind. Well, the book that I'm reading right now has 23 pages. Okay. And so I hope to be finished by December. I thought they stopped putting out Mad Magazine. Oh, no, no, no. This is uh, Where the White Elephant Roams. Oh. It's a children's book. Very nice. 23 pages. I'm sure to be done by December. <laughs> uh, the most successful people are the ones who never stop learning. That's true. Learning is, your, uh, is to your brain what the workout is to the gym to your body. If your first reaction to this is, I don't have time to read, which is, yeah, probably true. Guilty. Uh, stop and check. Most of us have some time wasters in our day. Mindless internet surfing or social media engagement. Uh, Netflix, etc. For me, it's Judge Judy. Yeah, I know. I could cut out. She's got like four shows a day. I could probably cut out one. Um, uh, let's see. Some of that can be changed out to reading. Uh, also, audiobooks are a great way to read while you're working out, shopping, or commuting. Have you ever done an audio book? I, I haven't. I did. Um, I did, uh, what the frick was it? Uh, Tom Sawyer. I listened to Tom Sawyer, and I wish I could remember who uh, was the commentator, but he had a very, uh, god dang, it was almost like uh, Morgan Freeman oh. type of voice. Mm -hmm. Very soothing, and he also, he imitated some of the characters as they spoke a little bit, which is a bit of an art because if you have a voice for Huck Finn and one for Tom Sawyer, you always have to remember kind of what that voice is when their voice comes up. Yep. Uh, so kudos to, I can't remember the person's name that, that, uh, that did the book. On our life hacks for the rest of the year, start a hobby comes in number two. Even though we said start, you probably already have a hobby. Make it a regular part of your life. If you truly don't have a hobby, it's easy to start one. Some hobbies include jogging or working out, arts or sports, something you want to learn further, or something you already do part of the time. Explore new options. That's a great hack. Uh, and I'll tell you this, my wife and uh, my wife, it was actually my daughter and I, we took a sushi making class so much well it was sushi making making and sake tasting oh okay so uh but it was a, a ton of fun i learned that you can make your own sushi at home um i usually get mine at the gas station well that's where they have the best it tastes tastes very tangy they should cook it station. more though <laughs> 
All right, this last one, go all out for what makes you happy. All right, this is so important. So most of us have a pretty good idea of what makes us happy. If you aren't sure, use these life hacks to get some ideas. Once you have a good idea, then you can go for it. Uh, things that make you happy, go after them with everything you have. Life is too short to just trudge through not being happy. Uh, life is to be enjoyed. Find those things that make you happy and pursue them. Um, you know, I think that uh, I, I was really ready to start golfing when, oh, yeah. I, when I retired. Mm -hmm. I was in a car accident. My shoulders messed up. So, but you know what? I'm not really going to let it stop me. I'm going to, uh, as soon as I feel like I have a little bit more range of motion, I'm going to go take some lessons and learn to golf learn to swing with whatever you know rotation i have yeah and which shoulder is it left or right it's my left oh which is where all the yep. follow-through is yep. oh, yeah right. it has a lot to do with your backswing too yeah so but you know what if i and i used to be able to hit the ball eh, about 275 yards with my crappy ass irons now i have all new clubs um but i'll probably still only hit <laughs> my drives <laughs> you know, you know, I love to play golf. I don't play so much anymore. At one point, I was playing just about five times a month, and my handicap was down to just about 18. You know what my handicap is? Your backswing? <laughs> yeah, my, my driving. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so, I, and, and I, I, was, I was really getting very good. But you know what happened? I reached a plateau. <laughs> I really did. Yeah. The plateau was that I can play every day for three weeks and shoot 90. Or I can play once a year and shoot 90. Yeah. What does that tell you? I'm, I'm just an 18 handicapper, you that's need, all there you is. You need a different hobby. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So whether you're doing a life assessment at the very beginning of the year or the start of a season on your birthday or any other time, the important thing is to set yourself up for success. Using these 10 life hacks you are on your way to accomplish whatever you have in mind to do. So follow these. We hope you found them interesting today. Maybe they'll set you on the right path to something. I know that I set goals myself. Uh, I make a habit of writing them. Well, I don't actually write them. I type them uh, and I save that. And every so often, I don't know, maybe every month or so, I like to go back and review. For those of you that watch this show, uh, you know that I follow the analytics very closely, which monitors how your show is doing, how successful it is, and such. And we like to set goals. Yeah. Uh, one of the goals that we set for this year, 2019, was to reach 100,000 views. Nailed it. it. Yep, did it. Nailed it. Uh, and so at that point, what do you do? Well, you set a new goal. Subscribers. Yeah. So that's what we've done. Yep. And we hope that you'll watch our show. We hope that you'll like it. And as a compliment to us, if you did, subscribe to our channel. There you go. We would greatly appreciate that, and we'll keep pumping out the content. That's going to do it for another episode. I'm Luke Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And this has been the Life Hack edition of Men Are So Smart. <laughs>